members. I'm Chiara La Testa and today I'm here with two very special guests. Uh, it's, it's not going to be talking about myself, but <laughs> about the two organizer or our next uh, winter workshop. Please. Hi, I'm Jan Schumann from Massachusetts General Hospital. And I'm Rebecca Abergel from UC Berkeley in Berkeley Lab. Okay, and uh, you are the organizer of our next uh, winter workshop. Can you, first of all, most important, tell us uh, how difficult it was to organize this workshop? Well, um, actually we have a lot of support from the previous experience from the um, first winter workshop and from our team at Radiation Research Society that um, basically did a lot of the administrative work and the planning documents all ready for us and so so it will be a very well organized workshop, but should we <laughs> should we actually give you the title of our yes, workshop? I think that, really <laughs> that would be great. Yes. Should we talk about that first? Yes, maybe that first. <laughs> What's the title, please? So we'll be talking about challenges and solutions in the era of targeted radionuclide therapy. Wow. So how is the program? Awesome. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know. I know you don't want to spoil our 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 members, but you know you can you tell us uh, some uh, just some uh, hints. Of what is yeah, we'll start off by talking about um, isotopes and dosimetry that are available. Uh, we'll talk about issues in terms of understanding what these different isotopes can do and how you want to choose what is best suited for a specific treatment different biological effects of the different isotopes and translation. That's right. We'll go into clinical implementation of um, the new targeted radionuclide therapies that are out there. So that's the first uh, time you have this topic in the workshop, right? You never, it was never, uh, we never talked about this uh, things in our Not society before. in our society so like that. I mean, we had, we had a symposium at the annual meeting this year. Mm -hmm. And I think it was a topic a few times before. Right, and I think it's, um, our hope is to bring some new advances and new perspectives into the radiation research community um, and how to look at what we know from external um, radiation therapy and apply it to targeted radionuclide therapy. Okay, so, and the registration is already open, right? That is correct, and there's also a um, abstract submission is open. Okay. And I am not sure what the exact abstract deadline is, but if you would like to have a talk, you should submit. Check out our website. It's one of the banners that's rotating on our uh, Redress home page. And can you remind us the dates? So that's yes, important. So we can put in our calendar already. You should all book your flights for um, March 4th to 6th. It's Wednesday evening. We'll start with this uh, workshop. and. Right, and we have um, a few very exciting plenary lectures lined up and still a few open spots for speakers. Um, we've been planning it similarly to the main annual meeting for the Radiation Research Society. Um, right, so we'll be selecting a couple of the speaker slots also from the abstract that are submitted. And similar to what we do here, uh, the remaining ones will be presented as posters. But the location is also something we uh, are interested in. So can you tell us about uh, the location? So you'll be flying into Bozeman, Montana, and getting on a shuttle to go all the way to Big Sky, which is um, the biggest resort in America. A big ski resort. <laughs> biggest ski resort. <laughs> and it's a winter workshop, so we will have very intense meetings from morning to lunchtime and then again in the evening, but there will be time for skiing in between. Oh, okay, um, that's uh, it's, cool. It's a lovely, lovely area for um, bring your families if you can and join us for the exciting workshop. Okay, so uh, tell us who should benefit about coming to this workshop? Me? Well, <laughs> everyone from the society has the potential to learn something, um, but most important, I think this field, in order to advance, will need the expertise of a lot of members of the society. Um, We're really trying to bridge radiation biology with um, all of this new technologies, exciting developments in the nuclear medicine field. And a lot of the expertise that we have from what we mostly discussed, the external beam radiation therapy, um, especially in the biology and radiochemistry, uh, radiation chemistry 
can be directly applied to the same because it's also, um, you know, radio nuclide. So, is going to be any travel awards for the this workshop? We are still working on that. Um, basically, we are uh, looking for sponsors more that we can offer um, for, for financing for it. Um, that will we we have some um, significant sponsors already, uh, and the budget will be. Um, we will we'll assign as many travel awards as the budget will allow. Okay. And support for it. But we will have uh, the opportunity um, for networking sessions. Um, so SIT and ECI members are more than welcome and encouraged to attend the workshop. Okay. So before we close it, any uh, message, a final message that you want to give to the community and all the members uh, to, if they are not, they are not convinced yet to come to come, be convinced to come. We've been working really hard to put <laughs> together an exciting program and an exciting workshop, and we look forward to seeing you all there. Right? Yeah. Yes. That's <laughs> exactly. On the ski slopes. Oh, no. Oops. No. In the conference room. <laughs> <laughs>